Robin from Fire Emblem Awakening is unlocked in his male form through the normal story mode of Fire Emblem Warriors. In order to unlock the female version of Robin, you need to play through the game's first history mode map. This map starts off with many areas blocked, but your first goal is to make your way north and complete this level 14 challenge. To do so, defeat enemies that are within the areas where you're currently locked in until you remove the wall in your way. After finishing this battle, female Robin will appear in the bottom right area of this map. You will need to do the same procedure as before to reach her and then complete this level 25 challenge to unlock her. Female Robin is actually just a character skin for regular Robin, meaning that you won't have more leveling to do or badges to buy for her. You can change character skins from the same menu that you can change character weapons. If you have already class promoted Robin, you will automatically have female Robin's class promotion skin too. Enjoy! Corin from Fire Emblem Fates is unlocked in her female form through the normal story mode of Fire Emblem Warriors. In order to unlock the male version of Corin, you will need to play through the game's second history mode map. You will start out this map in the center, with Xander and Ryoma located to the south in castles on the left and right side respectively. Your goal on this map is to unlock the way to Xander and Ryoma both by defeating important characters on the field. To get to Xander's battle, you will need to get to the left side of the map first by defeating this enemy in front of the bridge, and then defeat Elise here, Leo here, and Camilla here. To get to Ryoma's battle, you will first need to get to the right side of the map by defeating the enemy in front of the bridge, and then defeat Sakura here, Takumi here, and Hinoka here. After doing that, Xander and Ryoma's challenges will be available, which are both level 36. After finishing both of these successfully, the male version of Korin will be unlocked. Male Korin is actually just a character skin for regular Korin, meaning that you won't have more leveling to do or badges to buy for him. You can change character skins from the same menu that you can change character weapons. If you have already class promoted Korin, you will automatically have male Korin's class promotion skin as well. Enjoy! Lin from Fire Emblem The Blazing Blade is unlocked in Fire Emblem Warriors in the fourth history mode map. In order to get this map in the first place, you will need to finish the story mode of the game at least once. And to accomplish your goal of unlocking Lin, you need to get all the way over to the castle on the right side by completing any challenges in your way. Generally, you will be presented with two options, an easier option consisting of a challenge around level 25 to 35, or a harder option, which is usually a level 50 challenge. After making your way to the castle and beating the challenge in front of it, Lin will appear from the right side. You must first select her and beat her challenge, which is a level 37 battle, and afterwards the way to the enemy in the castle will be unlocked. Beat this level 45 challenge and you will be awarded with Lin as a playable hero in all of Fire Emblem Warriors modes. Lin uses a sword and has a very fast and aggressive style with a whole lot of momentum. She certainly is a great reward for the post game. Enjoy! Celica from Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valencia is unlocked in Fire Emblem Warriors in the fifth history mode map. In order to get this map, you will need to finish the story mode at least once. This map, unlike previous ones, allows you to select any challenge anywhere without a real sense of regression, and as such, it is hard to know what to do next. Your first goal here is to beat a few challenges until Celica appears in the south. When she does so, she will be surrounded by floating eyes that prevent you from getting to her. To make these eyes go away, you need to defeat all challenges that are next to them, and when successful, you can do the challenge where she is, which is a level 35 battle. From this point, you need to continue defeating more enemies on this map until three unique enemies appear with those eyes around them. Do the same thing as before and defeat any enemies that are bordering the eyes so that you can get to those challenges. And after defeating the first three, the way to the final battle with the possessed Darios will be unlocked. These earlier challenges range from level 35 to 50, and the final battle is a level 54 challenge, so be ready for some tough fights. After completing this battle, you will be awarded with Celica as a playable hero in all of Fire Emblem Warriors modes. Celica shares the same playstyle as Marth and has some really cool unique special attacks. Enjoy! Anna, a recurring character throughout the Fire Emblem series, joins the cast in Fire Emblem Warriors through her Warriors universe incarnation. 
The simplest way to unlock Anna is to complete the Fire Emblem Awakening illustration by collecting all of the Anna memories that are associated with it. That means a total of 20 memories. Half of these come from the Story Mode, which, starting from Mission 2, have Anna memories available on them. Remember to check in the Pause menu for the Anna information during the battle, and it will give you clues, which are sometimes direct and sometimes vague, on how to get her to appear. You will need to collect the first and second Anna memory on missions 2, 3, 4, and 5, for a total of 8, and then the second memory from Mission 12, and the first memory from Mission 13. Please note that in order for the second memory to be available in the first place, you will need to complete the story mode of the game at least once. And also note that in order to get the second memory once it's available, you will have to play that battle on hard or lunatic difficulty. So that's half of the memories, and the remaining 10 come from the first history mode map. You will need to collect every memory that is available on this map, meaning that you will need to complete and fulfill the requirements for her to appear as a shop on the map for five different battles here, two times each. Once you have completed this illustration, Anna will appear on the first history mode map as an extra challenge. This is a level 80 mission, and it was easily the most difficult battle that I've done yet in this game. Personally, I went into it with four level 60 characters, and it took me about 40 minutes in total. So just make sure that you are sufficiently leveled up and equipped for the fight, as you will need to be able to finish it within 60 minutes. Anna fights with a bow and shares the same playstyle as Sakura and Takumi. She has some really entertaining special attacks that are a bit of a nod to her recurring character status. Enjoy!